Hi, I'm David Rolnick. I'm a PhD candidate with Ed Boyden and Nir Shavit in Max Tegmark at MIT. And I work on the mathematics of neural networks, both in AI and in the brain and other neural systems. And I wanted to talk about something more neuroscience-y today um, in the area of connectomics. So many of you will know that connectomics is about mapping the brain, both at the level of individual neurons and uh, connections between them. And there are a lot of neurons in the brain, so it's a really hard task to try to create a map of everything that's going on um, at a structural level. And so it would take a really long time for a human to annotate images of the brain and create that map. So we're trying to do this using computer vision algorithms. Now, humans are a lot better than computer visual algorithms at understanding what the shapes of neurons actually are. So the automated approaches are prone to all kinds of errors which are really obvious to human annotators. In particular, there's a kind of error called a merge error where you have two neurons that come really close together, maybe they have a synapse between them, and the algorithm simply joins them together. You can see the kind of thing that's going on if you look at this, this image here, which is not exactly neurons, but kind of similar. Um, there are a lot of things which are <laughs> yeah, kind of similar. They're really closely packed together, they have these long thing processes, they, they branch off and they have weird lines coming out of them. So this is basically neurons. If you look at like, I'm trying to partition this, this set of neurons and I'm like, oh, here's a boundary, I'm going to go all the way along the boundary, and you're like, here's a boundary. Oh, and look, it closed back up where it, where it started. So that's clearly a neuron and it looks like this, or in this case, that's a zebra. We all know that that's what a zebra looks like, right? So the problem with this kind of approach is that we don't have any prior on what we're looking for. And even though the local decisions are in and of themselves good, we might combine them to create a bad global decision. And so I'm trying to create algorithms that will see through these optim locally optimal decisions and produce globally optimal decisions. So the algorithms that I am working with are trying to correct errors like this, where we've chopped off bits of a neuron and merged on bits of other neurons, and highlight where the neurons that are, have been joined together have been erroneously joined together. And this is a, something that has to be sensitive to the branches that naturally occur in neurons and to neurons just simply having very, very weird shapes, but characteristically weird shapes which humans can learn very easily. So the, the kinds of um, algorithms that I'm looking at are three-dimensional convolutional neural networks, which are being applied to the shapes of neurons and are actually learning, instead of what the boundary of the neuron is, what kinds of shapes we should expect to find in neurons. You can see this in this cartoon example where we've merged together digits from the machine learning database MNIST, and we're trying to work out what the merge points are between them. This is the ground truth, and here you can see the algorithm is working out exactly where the digits are merged together. And so what's happening is that it's seeing these windows on the digits, and it's working out, this is, this is supposed to be a 5, this is supposed to be a 0, and this, that means that this in the middle is something that is a merge error between them. And if you enlarge the window, you get more information, because you get to see more of what is a real digit and what is not a real digit. Past a certain point, though, if you enlarge the window, it doesn't help you, because you have seen all the information that you need to see. And we see this also in neurons. Uh, this is an example of two neurons which have been erroneously merged together, and then there's an error which is identified by the algorithm. If you wait for long enough, it'll show up in red. Um, I'm happy to talk more about this or about some other work on a more theoretical level on the robustness of neural networks and um, on expressivity, different architectures of neural networks, work on stochasticity in neural networks, which I actually started with Chaim here, um, and other stuff uh, afterwards. Thank you.